my baby is in a kitchen singing right now. And, uh, of course, I love her voice, but I am trying to shoot this video. Uh, this is day 284 of the intense journey. And I'm trying to shoot this uh, from the waist up because uh, from the waist down, that's not quite appropriate. But I was getting ready to get um, settled in for the rest of the evening. And I realized that it's been a few days. And that was actually intentional because I was on a little vacay. I went on a scuba trip to Key Largo. And then I also had a book signing, which I believe I posted um, about that. Um, and if I didn't, I apologize. But... Um, yeah, I'm just in a really, really, really good place. So once again, I got to be careful about how I shoot this video because uh, from the waist down, there's some concern. But anyway, guys, I am super um, excited about this video because it is going to be kind of a recap of today and how I felt. I got up this morning. I did my quick walk that I've been doing every Monday morning. I do it Monday through Friday. I do a walk with my girls every Monday through Friday. Um, even if it's just 10 or 15, 20 minute walk and it's just to kind of get the blood flowing. And so far it's been good. I do have a little bit of pushback because sometimes they don't want to get up in the morning, but I just think that, um, as a mom, I set the wrong example for them growing up. And as a mom, it's my job to fix that example. In other words, it has been a habit in our house to just get up, hit, hit the ground, we got all kinds of stuff going on. Let's get, get out the door. Let's go ahead and grab some breakfast, keep it moving real fast. And, you know, don't want to be late because we're running behind schedule. And even though it's not like that every morning, it feels like it's like that. There, there's always this rush and that, you know, we might forget something, leave something at the house or whatever, as opposed to just taking the time to get up earlier. 45 minutes an hour earlier so that we can ease into our day so we can um, manage our energy better. And we're not starting the day off with this really rushed energy. The other thing is that I do think about my goals and I do go over my goals at night, but I don't always make my plans at night. And so me getting up earlier in the morning so I can get my walk in number one, that means that I'm already moving. And some, and, and a lot of times when we go to the furthest walk, cause there's three versions of my walk I can do. I can do a little quick 10 minute walk. I can do a 15 minute walk or I can do a 30 minute walk. And so on the days that I know it's going to be ridiculously busy, instead of just doing a walk to get my brain going, which is my, you know, 15, 20, 30 minute walk, I'll specifically focus on the 30 minute walk. Because if I don't make it back, at least I know I've gotten at least 30 minutes of exercise um, that day. And so that's important to me. So anyway, because I was supposed to be recapping this day. I did my 30, uh, I did my 15 minute walk early in the morning. And then I my day progressed and it progressed really well. Got a lot of business taken care of, took care of my customers and everything. Um, and then all of a sudden my my energy started to drip. I just wasn't hundred percent. And I, you know, grab some sushi, drink a bunch of water. Um, realized I forgot to take my vitamins, but I wasn't at home and I did want to go buy some more vitamins because I'm always buying vitamins and I've got duplicates of so many vitamins. It's not even funny. It just hit me. What I need to do is keep some in the car, but with it getting hot outside, I don't know if that's a good idea. So I did that. Um, I spent time with what I could th call my third daughter. She's an exchange student that has become near and dear to my heart. And what's cool is sometimes God will put people in your life to kind of help you stay on track. And I knew that since I only got a, a quick walk in this morning that I would be going to the gym. Plus, I'm trying to hit the gym anyway, at least five days a week. And, um, since I didn't make it to Carla because of my vacation and then getting back into the week, I was like, I'm going to go to lifetime on my own, but I wasn't motivated to do so. Well, my little exchange daughter, my sweet little daughter wanted to go to lifetime. She really, she loved lifetime. She wants to go to lifetime. And so she nudged me and nudged me until I went and actually my other birth daughter, um, my little Maggie, 
also joined us up there and it was amazing. I had a great time. I got uh, my workout in and all of a sudden my energy dipped again. Don't know what the heck that was about. So during my workout, all these little voices in my head was going, I don't feel like being here. I don't feel like doing this. I don't want to be here. I have not met my goals yet. Why am I doing this? to my, Like all this stuff. Um, why am I doing this to myself? I should go home and go to bed. And then, I mean, I just was not feeling 100%. And I just, I was actually feeling a little depressed, which is unusual because usually when you work out, you start feeling good. But here's the cool thing. Here's what I want to say to you. All those thoughts were running through my head. All those thoughts, I should stop right now. All those thoughts of, I don't feel like being here. Because it just started to spiral. It just started off, I had some kind of weird vibe, negative energy just kind of take over. And so I started thinking all the things that you're not supposed to be thinking when you're at the gym. Because you're supposed to be in a good vibe, good energy and stuff. And it started off that way, but something hit me and I just was feeling depressed, so to speak. And so I acknowledged those thoughts. I was like, I am really feeling depressed. I am not feeling myself. I'm not feeling my happy, happy, joy, joy that I usually feel when I go to the gym. So you know what I did? I acknowledged it. And I said, you know what? I'm not feeling my happy, happy, joy, joy. So I'm going to let myself have these feelings, but I'm going to keep working out. My feelings do not have to, this is me talking to myself. My feelings do not have to dictate my actions. My actions are, I'm here at this gym to get a workout in, even though I don't feel like it. So even though I don't feel like it, I'm going to do it anyway. And that's exactly what I did. And guess what? After I finished working out, I felt a nudge better. And then when I saw my daughter at the cafe, um, cause she had finished up earlier than I did. When I got down to her, something had just lifted off of me. And I was like, I feel better. Now, what would have happened if I would have given in to those negative feelings? I would not have gotten my work out in, work out in, and then I would have felt even worse. So this is me documenting my journey. There are going to be days that you don't feel like doing working out, but guess what? Just because you don't feel like working out doesn't mean that you don't work out. It just means you acknowledge the fact that you don't feel like doing it, but you're doing it anyway. It's okay to have the feelings, but still get your work done. I remember I was talking to somebody earlier this week and they were talking about they didn't feel like doing something. And I said, you know, there were times because because we take care of our kids, no matter what, no matter how we feel, we're going to take care of our kids. Right. And actually, I think that's what we we're talking about. We we're talking about working out. I said, well, no matter what, there's times that I mean, because I breastfed both of my girls. There were times that I didn't feel like getting up in the middle of the night and breastfeeding. There were times that I didn't feel like changing a diaper. There were times that I didn't feel like going and making a sandwich for one girl and then making something completely different for my other daughter because they went through this phase where they wanted different stuff. And yes, I know I could have made them eat the same thing, but guess what? I didn't. And I don't treat my girls that way. So that's how I parent. You don't like it. So be it tough luck. Now there are times when I'm like, just eat it. Cause I said so. But anyway, that's a whole other story. We're not going to talk parent, but I did it because I love my babies and I would get up and do it anyway. But even though I didn't feel like it, that's how taking care of yourself has to become. Even when you don't feel like it, you got to do it because you're worth it. You're worth it. Take care of yourself. Even when you don't feel like it. All right. So that's what this one's about. All right. Be blessed. You know what? I feel like we have a relationship here. And you know what I need you to do? I need you to like, 
share, and subscribe. Like, share, oh and subscribe. She just drank something that isn't that tasty right now for, for healthy stuff. But anyway, I need you guys to like, share, and subscribe. Go on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all of that. But mostly, go on YouTube. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for checking out my content. We'll go figure out what's going on with her. All right.